There are people ahead of us. There are people ahead of us. We call them fathers and mother. Fathers and mother. Gideon was confused. It's like my people in your sight. Where they allow this problem to perform me? Where are the miracles? Which is the dogs? Where are the signs and wonders? Where are the blessings and promises? And the angel of God said, Oh, Gideon, you know about a miracle. Oh, Gideon, you know that blessing. Oh, Gideon, you know about that signs and wonder. Go in that might. Go in that might. Oh, you are aware of it. How are you better the rest of You are aware of it. How rest the death from the grave. You are aware of it. Who want to have a children? You are aware of it. Go in that mind. Go in that faith. Go in that report. Because that will be your loss. Because that will be your case. In the name of Jesus Christ. Verse 15. Verse 15. And so, after he had patiently endured, he obtained the project. Praise Master Jesus. We are talking about our father in faith. Of your children to a land that I will show you. He was 75 years of age. That trouble you are passing through is not to 75 years. That problem is not to 75 years. But we are talking about a man. A man at the age of 75 years. God came and spoke to him. Get thee out of your father's house to a land. I will show you. He believed. He followed. And the Bible recorded it. That after you have patiently endured, patiently endured, that means there's a trouble to endure. There's a problem in the path of Abraham to endure. There's a challenges in the path of Abraham to endure. All things were not going smoothly for him. But patiently. He waits, endure, and obtain the promises. And so we obtain the promise of God upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I say you obtain the promise of God upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Faith. Romans chapter 4. Verse 19 to 22. Romans 4. God said it. Believe it with all your heart. Believe it. Because you surely come to pass. Can I hear you pick your name? Can I hear you your name? You don't believe that you come to pass. As God said it. I said believe it. Because you must surely come to pass in your life. You must surely come to pass in your life. You must surely come to pass in your marriage. In the name of Jesus Christ. Romans chapter 4. Romans 4. Verse 19 to 21. Are you there? You can read. Romans 4, 19 to 21. And he said, And not being weak in faith, mm. he did not consider his own body mm. already dead. Since he was about a hundred years old, mm. and the deadness of Sarah's womb. Holy day. And be not considered, be not weak in faith. The body is weak. The death of Abraham, the flesh of Abraham is dead. But the Bible says, be not weak in faith. He considered not his own body, now not dead. Dead. There are people right off of you. They will say that anything will come out, out of you. It's not dead. It's a dead. Because it's only a dead man can say that anything could come out of that dead man. A dead man have what? Hope. Praise Master Jesus. It's only the living has hope. Now, Abraham is in that situation. But yet, never weak in faith. 
neither considered his own body, neither considered because of the challenges, because of the issue, because of what people are saying, to give up on the faith he has in the word of God. Remember when the promise was made? 75 years of age. And now is on three years old. How many years have added? How many years? 25 years have added. A 25 years of wilderness is wilderness. 25 years of agony and pain. 25 years of reproach. And yet, he never took up. And yet, he still believed that that God, which I promised for 25 years ago, is able to bring his word to pass. The next verse. Verse 20. He did not revive at the promise of God through unbelief, mm. but was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God. Praise God. He did not study. You don't stagger. The other scripture of us will say, you know, with it's unmovable. He didn't shake. He didn't give up. But he continued to pitch up. Because the word of God says, the word I speak to you, their spirits and their words, their life. If in that same situation, the word I speak to you, their own spirit and their life. Their life. Abraham believed that the word of God is new all moments, always. Even in this situation, because God has said it, that is word, his spirit, and his life. Even where my hand has fed me, the word, his spirit, and his life to hand. Even where my mood has fed me, the word of God is true, his spirit and his life to my womb. Even when my liver has fed me, the word of God is spirit and his life to my liver. The word of God. He staggered Lord and the promise of God through unbelief, but, but was strong in faith. Giving glory to God. Next verse. Verse 21. And being fully conceived that what he had promised, he was also able to perform. Can we say hallelujah to that word? Can we shout hallelujah to that word? For what God has said, Abraham believed that word. That God is able to what? To bring to pass. He's able to perform it. This is a case that happened in the Babylon. Concerning the three Hebrew children, Shetra, Misha, and Abadnego, they were cast in the fire, they are seeing death, seeing affliction, sanctification, contamination. But here yeah, they say, Oh, you king, we are not careful to answer you in this manner. If it's God has said that when you pass through the fire, that the fire will not hurt you, when you pass through the water, that the water will overflow you. That God failed to save us in this fire. Let it be so. Let it be so. That is what the Peter in the heart. For when you pass through the fire, the fire will not hurt you. He will not consume you. And when you pass through the river, through the water, the water will not overflow you. They believe it. They believe it. They have faith in it and they are patiently waiting on that world. And if they turn, that same challenge, fire came. And because God has said it, now this is the word, a practical test of that word of God. All you think, we are not careful to answer in this manner. If that God which has spoken this word by his mouth of his prophets, and unable to bring it to pass, unable to perform it, unable to deliver us, let it be so. But to us, we will not bow down to another God. How many of you have been planning down to your challenges? Buying down to the core of your challenges. 
only that to your situation because he can't believe any longer. He can't have no special any longer. He can't endure any longer. And you say yes to your problem. Say yes to your situation. Back down to your situation. Back down to your trouble. Because why? You can't endure any longer. Because of the pain. Because of the eyes. What people will say, you bow down to it. That is the method. With your own eyes, you will accept and bow down to Satan. Bow down to all his tricks, all his method. And say, after all, God is a merciful God. But if you to know, Hebrews 12 24, that this same God is a merciful God. Also, what? A consuming fire. A consuming fire. You bow down to your challenges, bow down to your difficulties. You are in school because of challenge, because of issue. And later I will say, let me sleep for, with you before I will give you pass mark. And the only you know how what it takes, you keep up and you succumb to that lecturer. That is the thing that happened to them. No matter the legends of the nation that come to you, cannot be all you to fortify by throwing someone to wear the lake of fire. What is that issue of life? What is that challenge? That you not believe God, which I promise you that you will do it. Believe your God. Believe your God. And have faith in God. Because that same God will do miracles in your life. That God will do miracles in your life. That God will do miracles in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. God will receive. There's no two ways about it. God will never change. God will never abandon his word. God will never see anyone's situation and deny to be a God. There's no amount of pain that a man can receive. That will make God to what? Deny himself to be a God. In the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, from verse 5, came about. For we have a what? An high priest. Have an high priest who also feels the same thing that we feel. The same pain, he feels it. The same trouble, he feels it. Whatever you are passing through, as his own time, as your daughter or son, Jesus also what? Feel it. In feel it. Don't die in your situation. Say to your neighbor, don't die in your situation. Don't give up in your situation. Don't abandon God in your situation. Don't reject God in your situation. But have faith in the word of God. Have faith in God. Have faith. For that same God we visit you today. We visit you today. We visit you today. We visit you today. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. A lot of things happen in life. Many things happen in life. What make a man to join an occult in order to succeed in life? I also see them. Those people also want to go to church. They go to church and they went. They're looking for what? Power and for riches. The book of Psalm 127 says, Go to them that went there to eat it for what? In help. He got them to eat it for what? In help. He said, Woe to them. God spoke to them that rejected my word, the word of promise. Trouble. And because of this little challenge, they go to another God. They go to another God for help. Go to another source for help. Because why? They can't endure any longer. I pray for someone in this meeting. Whatever that you are passing through, 
If the word of God is true, if the word of God is true, I stand by the infallible word of God. I stand by the liberty and authority of his word. And I decree and I declare that God will turn around your situation. 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 Whatever thing I pray, whatever thing the challenge I call me, if the word of God is true, after today, that word of God has said, it shall be well with you. Indeed, it shall be well with you. Indeed, it shall be well with you. Indeed, it shall be well with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Whatever the wicked one I use it to mock you, whatever be a negative name to your original name, whatever that taken a place of your name, today, that word of God that bring peace as a prince of peace. That, that, that name, an ugly name, that situation that caused you to bear after this service, such name will no longer attach to your destiny. No longer attach to your destiny. No longer attach to your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father Lord, we bless your name. We thank you, Lord, because of who you are. Be our feet and appreciate God. Because his word has come out. I sent forth my word. And the word is. Are you here? Under the sound of my voice. Suffering with. In what kind of affliction. If that word of God say that you are healed. Today receive your healing. Today you will receive your healing. Receive your healing. Because the word of God says, I will multiply you and I will bless you. Are you yet? I'm believing God for a blessing, a marital blessing, a financial blessing, a spiritual blessing. Today, because the word of God has gone ahead of you, receive that blessing today. Receive that blessing today. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.